Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I believe our nation needs to secure its points of entry. And specifically, I believe that we should prevent additional countries from joining the United States Visa Waiver Program. Until we have technical and human resources to secure our points of entry, I do not believe our nation can afford to allow more visitors in the United States without screening them prior to arrival. This amendment would prevent funds from being used to negotiate additional visa waiver countries. The State Department should not be using funds to negotiate new visa waivers until the machine-readable and tamper-resistant biometric identification standards that were mandated by the U.S. Patriot Act as a cornerstone of the entry-exit system are fully operational. We refer to that, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, as a U.S. visit program. Uh, there are currently 27 visa waiver countries, and I believe it is too risky to negotiate additional countries without first having our security screening system in place. Mr. Chairman, we cannot afford to provide more opportunities for terrorists to breach a loophole in our security. How much time does our nation have be immigration customs enforcement, the air marshals, or the TSA, Transportation Security Administration, misses the next Richard Reed. For example, Zacharias Moussaoui, a French citizen of Moroccan descent, a name we all know very well, actually used his French passport without a U.S. visa on February 23, 2001. He flew from London to Chicago and on to Oklahoma City, where he began the flight training at an aviation school. Fortunately, on August 16, 2001, INS arrested Musawi because he had remained in the United States well beyond the 90 days that were allowed under the visa waiver program entrance, and he was in violation of the requirement that visa waiver program travelers enter for business or tourism. Had INS and law enforcement not been literally on top of their game, Mr. Speaker, Musawi could have been a part of the 9-11 attacks. That was his intent. We stopped him. Uh, but he was here on a visa waiver. A more recent example can be summarized in a June the 18th, just this month, 2007, ABC News reported about suicide bombers who were sent to the United States and Europe after being trained in Afghanistan. And the story references this recent terrorist video where the Taliban military commander, Mansour Dadula, is found saying in this video, and I quote, these Americans, Canadians, British, and Germans come here to Afghanistan from faraway places, end of quote. This story further confirms, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman, what we already know. Terrorist forces are recruiting from the Western world, the same countries who are established members of our visa waiver program. I feel that we cannot continue a loophole that allows homegrown European terrorists access to the United States. Mr. Chairman, the Visa Waiver Program was only designed to be a temporary program for small and select group of nations, starting with the UK, Japan, and France. Now, 27 countries participate in the Visa Waiver Program. Believe me, enough to keep ICE and TSA exceedingly busy. Do we really need to fund efforts to add a 28th and 29th country to their list of responsibilities? I just don't want to see our nation attack because we couldn't carry through with our commitment to security first. Uh, I ask my colleagues, please support this common sense Gingrey amendment. And uh, Mr. Chairman, with that, I will reserve the balance.